It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And up next is the Texans' bruising running back. He's the NFL's ultimate red zone back and your leader in rushing touchdowns. It's the Texans and the Bears on Sunday night. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League. It's... Santos out now. He'll kick it away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 42. Now a run. Here's the first round pick from April's draft. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. The numbers for him from a week ago. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better. And I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. The Texans at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one, and they were able to get that road victory in the opener. Now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets your point in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. When you enter the game as the AFC Player of the Week award winner, you expect runs like that and then some. <laughs> it was fun to watch him in the opener last week in week one. He was spectacular and open for more here in week two. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, Eric. Now a handoff looking right. Busts through the tackle. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 49 yards rushing for him on their opening drive of the contest, and it's now first and goal. And after his performance last week, everybody saw it unbelievable. You can expect right. a heavy dose of him again, I think. Without a doubt. I mean, why wouldn't you? Because... And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A great play there. Hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Texans respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run. Give it right back to... Santos to kick this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. All right. <laughs> On third down, they're going to run for it here. 
A nice little juke. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That good for 19 at a first down. And he continues to have success running the ball here in the first half as he's already closing in on 100 yards for the game. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 46. He juked him. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Now to change things up, Stroud will throw it. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. They work now on second and nine. All right. And yeah, they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be fourth down. And his big night continues on that last run. The yardage there going to move him over 100 yards now. For the... Here we go. Right back to him on first down. A solid move on the run, but ultimately stopped short of the goal line. Down at the two. From the two now, second and goal. Mikey Texas. South, south, south. And movement here by one of the Texans up front. In comes the flag. Start offense. Expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Third and goal, Stroud. And it's caught on the deflection. And this is going to be a touchdown. They scored the most points of anyone on opening weekend. And now first quarter touchdown here. And while there's no guarantee... Now Houston's offense taking over again. Here we go. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 123 yards rushing for him now as his fine rookie season continues. Right. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Now they'll run it on the toss. Fighting it off. And this will be a Texans first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Well, it's a shuffle pass, and it's complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Second and seven. And Stroud now to throw. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A gain of 32 that time. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. A great effort there. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Texans have moved out in front. Well, fair to say they've got something here in this rookie. 
look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. Might he be on his way to a record-setting performance here, Charles? Stroud to throw it. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And once again, he's going to be stopped up behind the line. Second straight play. Shades of the 85 bear defense a little bit. Able to fight through one tackle. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing now is Stroud. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. Play action. Here's Stroud. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. Here oh. Here's first and 10. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. Touchdown, Houston. A big play there. On his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Texans have... to kick this one away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. It'll be a gain of five. And it's second down. Brandon, I won't go overboard here, but it looks like he's off to another nice start after what he did last week when he was the AFC Offensive oh, Player of the Week. Yeah, well, obviously, a great start to the season, doing it in week one. He's one of those guys who maybe had paid for a big year, showing out so far. But you did say that to me in preseason. Looks like you're on target. There's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And just shouting him off there. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. 14 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. So this offensive unit, yeah, they were solid in the opening week victory, and now they are looking just as sharp here in week two. <laughs> Start this drive out on the ground. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down for a nice little game. 
two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. And he takes us all the way down to the Bears' five. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. A nifty move on the run, but ultimately stops short of the goal line down at the two. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Texans have moved out in front by three touchdowns. And he was excellent. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Texans offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. On the quick, right? Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's right. what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. Here we go. Let's go. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Pushing through the contact. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Dances by him. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Taking it in from the 20. And the Texans come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. the touchdown here Santos to kick this one away and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line and with that last run that's going to move him over a the Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and ten. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 38 now, here's second down and two. Play action, Stroud now. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Stroud working out of the gun. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he is going to have a Texans first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. Stroud sets up the play action. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And shutting him off, now open field. Oh, still going. Touchdown, Houston. A great play there. 55 yards. 
And the Texans are able to widen their advantage. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is... There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. I guess he kind of goes without saying. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Here we go. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And once again, he's going to be stopped up behind the line. Second straight play. Shades of the 85 bear defense a little bit. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. He gets a good chunk of yards there, eight all told. The Texans back out there and ready to go. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Avoids him at the 40. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Look at the hot, look at the hot. Stroud. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 34 yards to gain that time, another first down. Oh, ready? Now Stroud. On a slant, here's Collins. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the four, this is second down and one. Here's Stroud. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Stephon Diggs. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Texans are... Touchdown here, Santos, to kick this one away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. But the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. Well, this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Stroud looking to throw. Short throw into the hands of Jordan. Room to maneuver at the 35. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. 36 yards on the play. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Operating from the gun. Stroud. That's complete to Dell. Touchdown! Take Dell. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter.
The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. The Texans on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This time they face a third and two. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. From the 47 now to work with a second and seven. He'll complete this one to Collins. Pushing his way through and still fighting. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. A shotgun snap to Stroud. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. Down inside the 10. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well. The Texans getting set here to take over again on offense. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And bulldozing his way through. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Gets around him. The 20! And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So I tell you what, Charles, I know that you don't put it. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they?